And what an impact she's made not only on Notre Dame, but in the game of women's basketball this year as well. We're underway, Ole Miss in the dark uniforms and Notre Dame in the white. Ole Miss on offense to begin the game. Marquisha Davis did not have a good game in their last game. They looked to get her going early. And Ole Miss scores on its opening possession to the ACC title. They won the tournament last week. Won the regular season last year. Hidalgo, her first shot, nothing but net. Need Ole Miss, but this could be a very close game. Well, I agree with you. And you look at this, this is a nice move. Hannah Hidalgo, nice little shot fake there to see. Notre Dame cannot get in foul trouble. Their numbers are thin. They usually go with just six, possibly seven. And Nat Marshall, just her third career start, buries her first shot of the game. Citron, boom! Sonia Citron picking up where she left off on Saturday. Way too easy. You can't go under the screen. This young lady coming off of a 29-point performance on Saturday's game. Good response by Madison Scott. This game continues against Notre Dame. You are so right. Kennedy Todd Williams, shot clock at seven, throws it up and in. The Wolf returns for Notre Dame, replacing Bransford. Yeah, take another look at this. Hannah Hidalgo goes for the steal and open his lane, pass the ball, and get those open looks. Hidalgo will drive and one. And head down, driving it to the middle to create the contact and get that foul. Yeah, this is where Ole Miss is at their best when they're able to go in this transition game. And that was a hard screen, Singleton on Hidalgo. Kennedy Todd Williams knocks down the three-pointer. Scott to Davis. Davis shot blocked by West Bell. They get it to Hidalgo. And then a turnover right away. Citron comes out of there with it. Well, this game's been defense. DeWolf. The NCAA Women's Championship is presented by Capital One. What's in your wallet? And that was one thing that hurt Marquette the other night. Ole Miss will wear you down with the defensive pressure late in the game. Shot clock at four. Westbelt fires. Got it. I mean, she can play a lot of different positions. You know, you're right. She's the one player that Coach Yo singled out and eaten off the bench. That was a big play for her. Yeah, definitely. Cuts the lead to 12. DeWolf in the lane. Anna DeWolf only 5'8". Oh, Miss is a team. They lead the SEC in block shot per game. So they are going to try to get those blocks. The third in the nation in blocks. Kennedy Todd Williams, that was a two. Her foot was on the line. So Notre Dame trying to figure out, get their, get their plays set up, get a good look. Citron was looking for it the whole way. What a combination that is. Hidalgo and Citron. Oh, move the ball. Pass it around the horn. Take another look at this nice pass leading to the basket. Trying to pass the ball up. And Notre Dame does a good job. Just deflection. Oh, Bransford was wide open for a moment. Finally got it to her and it was in time to score. You know, watch Notre Dame, how they just continue to play within the pace that they want to play in. They're not letting Ole Miss speed them up. Westbell. And a timeout on the floor. Maddie Westbell, part of the big three. She has hit two three-pointers today. Hidalgo going for the steal. It's one of the things she does best. And then Kennedy Todd Williams gets the steal. Davis needed that. I mean, you can literally put West Bell anywhere on the floor, as they said. Anywhere on the floor, she can get you buckets. Kennedy Todd Williams answers for Ole Miss. But if you're Ole Miss, you got to like just the flow of that offense, yeah. uh, offense to play. They weren't able to knock it down, but they were right there. Matt Marshall. And as this team led by Coach Yo. Gonna be interesting to see how they come out in the second half. I agree, and that's a good steal right there. Marquisha Davis just reads. Nice pass, and one. She's number 21 guarding Hidalgo now. Hidalgo off the screen, penetrates. Oh yeah, 
That'll make the highlight reel. <laughs> well, it would be a stretch to say the luck of the Irish, because they have been excellent in this opening half. She is going to be so fun to watch next year as well. She's announced she's come back. She just continues to grow and grow in Citron. Can't go under the screen. You got to fight over the top when you're going against shooters. Three-pointer knocked down by Thompson. Hidalgo to DeWolf. Westbell banks it in. Responsible for the majority of the points today. Here's Citron's first shot, and it's good in the second half. West Bell muscles it up and in. Marcusha Davis were there, but you have a shooter all the way on the left side. You can't leave the shooter open. They're just struggling to find it. Hey, Bakwe. This is an Ole Miss team that has held 11 opponents to under 50 points this season. But Notre Dame is having its way, and West Bell continues to pour in the points. Uh, nobody boxed out. Zakaya. Stevenson on the left side doesn't box out Anna DeWolf and a nice drive to the basket. Oh my goodness, Anna DeWolf. Olivia nice. Miles on. <laughs> Gotta like the dancing on the sideline, but Anna DeWolf just baits Zakaya Stevenson, changes speed, releases the ball in front, not able to get. And the Lady Balls of Tennessee coming up. After our game, Rakia Jackson, a first round WNBA pick projected. She'll be in that game. Marquisha Davis gets her second bucket of the game. She came in like that. Her parents instilled that in her early. How important defense was. I didn't learn that until I got to college. Yeah. I sat on the bench a little bit. I didn't want to buy into the system. Madison Scott. Never really seen Ole Miss get into a rhythm so far. You see right here attacking the basket. Madison does a good job. Of good rebound by Madison Scott. Just can't get that shot to go down. And Hidalgo on the run to Citron. He is looking for her third 20-point game of the season. Ole Miss got the timeout before a turnover. Scott buries the jumper right out of the timeout. Davis missed it. Citron comes out, clears it to Hidalgo. Hidalgo one-on-one -on -one with Kennedy Todd Williams. And you know that's a bucket. Uh, Kennedy Todd Williams has three fouls. And then Hidalgo going for the steal. She's all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun to watch. Absolutely ferocious, but she plays with so much joy. I love it. That drive right there. They're going for the steal, but... You know what you gotta love the most? She screams. <laughs> <laughs> Citron. Oh, what a pass. We are finished with the third quarter. Everything has flowed. They have not been rattled by Ole Miss in the defense. Madison Scott, good finish. And she calls her coach to Wolf. <laughs> you know, Ivy says she's like an extension of her on the floor. Kennedy Todd Williams knocks down the short jumper. On the Blake, pull it out. Good job, Ole Miss. And Ibakwe in the lane, sticks it in. And a timeout, Notre Dame. Ole Miss doing a great job, getting the intensity going, getting the steal, out on the break. One point closer, 50 points on the board for the Rebels. DeWolf, open, knocks it down. That's like a layup for her. It's on the board. Where they'll be denied another trip to the Sweet 16. Kennedy, Todd Williams short. And the battle for the rebound won by Citron. DeWolf just popped it up the floor to Hidalgo. Wow. That could have been really bad. But Anna DeWolf saves it instead of trying to grab it. She sees two teammates running in front, tips it up. When you have games like this and so many, the momentum is going, these plays make the biggest difference down the stretch, and Anna DeWolf just pops it up. Scott stops, shoots, scores. On Friday, Hidalgo got the steal. 
That's our fourth steal. Final seconds of the game from Notre Dame. And the Irish have fought their way back to the Sweet 16. Notre Dame will face Oregon State on Friday and try to break through the Sweet 16. They've been to this stage now three straight years and are looking for that elusive Elite Eight.